Next, we will be talking about how to use the map view. The map view, if you have one, is used in much the same way as the rack. You can use either view as needed with mostly the same functions available on each. You will see the map tab after the rack tab. Click on that tab and you will see one of the maps in the sample database. The map shown below is the filled map. Using the advanced film type status indicators for a more appealing map to see this view, use the map selector list. Click either one of the forward or back arrows or open the list to select the map directly. And now you can view your map below. This is the fill map. The site co status colors are basically white, which indicates that the site's available. Green, the site is now occupied. Yellow, the site is reserved but not yet occupied. There's also a lighter green as in cabin number two above, which means the occupant is due out today but is not yet checked out. It's technically available for a new reservation today, assuming he really does leave today. So you can make a reservation on it if you want to. As with the rack, you can double click on an available site to make a reservation. Double click on a reservation, occupied or reserved, to see quick info for that reservation. As indicated right here. If you want to see what sites are available for a given date range, just enter the dates. Any sites that are open for the entire period will still be in white, while any other color indicates that at least part of the range is not available. You can also narrow down the selection using the site types list as is on the rack. Any sites not matching the selected type will be blacked out, making it easy to see the appropriate sites. As with any view, if you don't know what a color means or if you want to change it, just right click on the view and open the color key. As you can see, this is the map color coding. The color key will indicate what color and their meaning for you below. And when you're finished, you can click Done.